Hey folks, my name is Mo Amir and this is Van Color, British Columbia's bonafide culture and politics TV talk show. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous right now because we're in dream guest territory, childhood hero territory in fact, Order of British Columbia recipient, Order of Canada recipient. He continues to be incredibly generous with his charitable work, a true role model to this day. Of course, you know him for his 16 seasons as a Vancouver Canuck, number 16, Captain Canuck. He is, of course, Trevor Linden. Trevor, it's Blushing. you. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's quite the intro, Mo. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Before we get into some of the serious mm -hmm. stuff that we're, we're here to talk about, I have to tell you, I've met you twice before. Once when I was 10, my dad took me and we lined up at uh, Metro Town for two mm -hmm. hours to be able to meet you. I was speechless when we did, but you were a gem. And then the second time it was at an Ernst & Young dinner. I uh -huh. was 26. You gave a great speech about leadership. Uh -huh. And then afterwards there was the dinner portion of the evening. I'm sitting down. And you tap me on the shoulder and you go, hey, can I sit here? And I go, yeah, uh, yeah. of course you yeah. can. You're Trevor Linton. So uh, it's cool to see you again. Uh, thanks for doing Mo, this. Mo, you did the perfect, that's the make me feel very old moment. You know, <laughs> I was 10 years old and I see the photo of me looking very young and you looking like a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> And now you're here and I'm here and my hair. You look fantastic. And I'm though. definitely have. I yeah. call it blonde hair now. But yeah, so, so all good. Yeah, I love it. Let's talk about this incredible mm -hmm. public service announcement that you did for the YWCA. Yeah. It is incredible. I don't remember the hit. He came from behind me. I was hit in the side of the head. I remember being confused. My ears were ringing. I still experience pain mood swings, it's hard to talk about. But this isn't my story. It's mine. When we think about concussions, and especially the dialogue around concussions, it's really been centered around concussions in sports. Yeah. And I think what makes this PSA so effective and impactful is that there is that swerve and yeah. we are now talking about uh, domestic violence and concussions incurred in those situations. For sure. What did you learn being a, a part of this campaign? Well, I, I mean, I was, uh, it took me about 30 seconds to say yes after I learned the statistics behind it. For every concussion in the National Hockey League, there is 7,000 women that are affected by concussion per day. Wow. You know, so um, is this in North America? What's that's that's in Canada. OK, wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so it's uh, it's 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 staggering. And, you know, it's one of those things where uh, in hockey or in sport, you think of concussion. Oh, he's you know, he, you know, and and he gets the proper diagnosis. He gets the proper care. He's on a he's on a program to get him back. And obviously with brain injuries, it's not. And, you know, this is a big topic in sports now mm -hmm. because it wasn't when I first started, there was no such thing as a concussion. Right. It was, uh, oh, he got his bell rung here. Uh, have some Advil, you know, right. uh, Tylenol. You'll be better. You know, and now it's a serious it's very serious um, because we know about it. And it's not like a shoulder or a knee where you can say, oh, you're going to be four to six weeks or two to three weeks. I mean, the brain is uh, a complex uh, organ that that it's on its own time and it can be really debilitating. I mean, you talk mm -hmm. about I, I mean, obviously I played with guys who were concussed and their path back is, you know, just filled with ups and downs and and uh, you know mood swings and and uh, it's light sensitivity, noise sensitivity. They right. can't be in, you know, even with guys with kids, they can't be around the kids. So, but that's, you know, this is and they're well taken care of. And and the and the sad story about uh, intimate partner violence is it's the thing no one wants to talk about. It's not yeah. not a pleasant thing to talk about, but it's real. It happens. You know, it happens in our backyard. And what what's hard is is the women dealing with this don't want to get proper care because they're afraid they may lose their kids, they mm -hmm. may lose their job. All these repercussions can come from, you know, telling anyone about what happened. So, and then, uh, you know, think about being concussed and trying to carry on at work. I mean, it's just without telling anyone. And so, you know, the YWCA does such amazing work with women and uh, across this country and their families. And it was just a real... Uh, real privilege to be asked to be part of this. And doesn't this add to the problem where when we think about domestic violence, as you just kind of mentioned, women don't want to come forward for fear of retribution or, or fear of, you know, harm in other yeah. in other ways. So it's not reported as much. Yeah, for sure. And then also when it comes to concussions, I think aside from professional sports, 
it's not really diagnosed, you know, that that easily or self-diagnosed that yeah. easily. So you could have a concussion and not even know it. For sure. So yeah. that must make it really hard to even determine the scope of the problem and oh, and sure. how to reach out to people. For right? sure. I mean, it's it's just uh, there's so many ways to uh, that this causes problem is that, you know, you and exactly what you said, you may need to not you may not even know that you are concussed, but you're you're irritable. You're not you're not thinking clear. You're not you know, but you're. You know, and and I think in this day and age, I mean, you just kind of, you know, th- you know, if you get a separated shoulder or you or you dislocate your, you know, your 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 finger, I mean, you you, it's obvious or there's mm-hmm. a lot of pain. But this is just, oh, I'm not feeling good today. I'm, you know, or this that. But you just keep going, right? So, um, yeah. So it's it's um it's real, and I think just the awareness, getting people talking about it, is is key. And thinking about the physiology of a concussion, I know you mentioned some symptoms already, but there are still some misconceptions, right? Like you don't actually have to be knocked out or lose consciousness to uh, have a concussion. Absolutely not. I mean, there's there's certainly uh, being con- you know being unconscious is 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 a obvious an obvious symptom, but mm-hmm. I mean it doesn't mean that, and it can be days later until you start to feel the effects of it, right? You know, and that can be obviously headache and and light sensitivity noise sensitivity that sort of thing not sleeping well you know blurred vision that sort of thing and these are all things that um you know and, and presumably if untreated there's even worse repercussions down the line right? well it doesn't get better it just yeah. it's just it just becomes this debilitating type thing that just carries on and so um yeah it's been it's been an interesting uh path because the the response to this mo has been so impactful um and people from all walks of life i mean i've had some i had this one friend of mine that that has teenage boys Mm -hmm. and she said she said trevor she said we watched the video and it just created this whole dialogue with them about what intimate partner violence is and and and, you know to get the conversation started and i think even with 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 families and their teenage girls to talk about it because you know i mean i think that perhaps there's a lot of women who haven't experienced intimate partner violence but they've been times where they've maybe been scared of their mm. partner or, or afraid at times and you know that's a really scary position to be in for women and it's i think we need to teach our boys uh, you know that and our and our and our young males that this that's this isn't acceptable this this should this should not and cannot happen and and just change the uh, the accept the cultural acceptance of of this situation. Yeah, and definitely get it out more in the open and have these conversations. For sure. And especially, I guess, get people the healthcare that they need if they're in these situations, right? Because it can be quite hard, even if you know someone in one of those situations, to get them out. For of sure. It, right? I mean, if you and I think if there is someone that you're just having the conversation with someone about, if you suspect something is happening. Uh, you know, just get, having the conversation with them, getting them to help. MyConcussionStory.com is is a landing spot that the YWCA has set up that can kind of, uh, you know, give you more information, you know, put, point you in the right direction for for help and for care. And, and um, I mean, the worst thing is, is just not being diagnosed correctly and mm-hmm. not getting the help. I mean, that's a sad spot to be in. So, you know, as is interesting, I mean, I have a, my, my son is, is six and and you know, one of the reasons for me wanting to be involved was I want him to know that, you know, I'm I, I'm advocating for women and women's rights and equality and that sort of thing, and it's important. And, and and so I think that was the powerful piece of that of the PSA is that hey, it's Trevor Linden talking about hockey. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like whoa. No, it's not. It definitely cuts through the noise. It's so impactful and powerful. And and you did a fantastic job. It it really was super uh, cool for me to be a part of it. And it was just such a collaboration of, you know, the YMCA bringing such an important topic. And um, the creative was so impactful. So, you know, it's 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 um, campaigns like this. You just hope that can that they can start those conversations with your, your, with your teenage kids or, or maybe you can be aware of a friend or a colleague or someone that you might suspect uh, be in a tough situation. And, you know, you, you don't even realize, you think about intimate partner violence, you don't realize, well, wow, yeah, if that happened, you'd never want to talk about it because mm-hmm. you'd be afraid. Yeah. And, and what's going to happen to my kids? What's going to what my partner? What's going to happen to me if, you know what I mean? And so it's, it's, um, it's a very difficult spot to be in. So, I think the awareness and just getting people help is important. Absolutely. Trevor, thank you so much for being a part of that campaign. Thank you for your time tonight. Awesome. Uh, I know British Columbians really appreciate it. And you are a gem of a human being for all, uh, thanks, all that you do in the community. So thank thanks, you very Mom. much. Appreciate it. Folks, whoever told you not to meet your heroes never met Trevor Linden. Of course, he is Captain Canuck. Now stick around because after some business, do you follow BC politics? I mean, I hope so, because a lot of the conversations on this show are centered around BC politics. 
But do you watch Question Period in the BC Legislature? Don't worry, me neither, because it's mostly useless political theater that makes our elected officials look more like elected children. But is there a better way? Well, we'll ask BC Minister of State for Child Care, Grace Lore, up next.